Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Dobbin from Nova Leap Health. How are you today, Chris? Good. Thanks for having me, Tracy. Well, Chris, I got to tell you, here's what I love. You just put out your third quarter results, and this line says Nova Leap's financial results are the best in the company's history. How about we start there? Sure. Yeah. Look, any anytime uh, we can put out results like that, I think it it speaks well for the company. Uh, you know, we've been fairly consistent in terms of how we buy our businesses, in terms of how we run our businesses. We run a decentralized organization. Uh, but, but it's good to see that the efforts that our staff are putting in are, are really paying off from a financial perspective. Okay, but let's be more. Uh, I actually had Raj put some numbers together for me. All right, you're up 23.44% since the new year, 38.6% in the last six months, and up 58% in the last three months. Those are some numbers. And speaking of numbers, you've gone eight quarters in a row of exceeding revenue expectations. Is that correct, or is it nine now? We've had nine uh, quarters of increasing revenue growth, yes. Okay, so let's tell us, uh, looking at your, your stock volume, as well as it's doing, though, let's be honest, we think it should be doing better. Is that correct? Look, any anytime I think you have a performing company, you have a management team that's delivered on what they said they would do, then I, I think that speaks positive for what the stock should be doing. So the market will take care of itself, but it's nice to see the market at least recognize you know, what we've been doing and, and uh, you know, at least doing what we've said we would do. So from that perspective, it's pretty positive. And of course, Chris, we, we know that you're one of those CEOs are very focused on the company's goals and mandates. But I think I'd love it if you could just share with our audience what you think is making your company different from the many other small caps out there that are really, really struggling. Uh, why are you actually performing when it comes to revenue? What are you doing right? Well, I think there's a couple of things. One is that we, we really have a clear vision of where we want to go. And, and that vision has never changed from day one. We, we've always told the market, look, we're, we're an acquisitive type of company. We think we can buy these businesses at a really good um, you know, acquisition multiple. It works well for us. It works well for the seller. And we think after we've taken ownership of these businesses, you know, we have a sense of what needs to happen within these businesses from the day we take them over in order to improve them. And that and that starts with improving the service to our clients, uh, investing in our caregivers, uh, watching our costs, uh, treating our, our care professionals well. So a number of things that go into it. But, you know, we're buying these small businesses. It's the market that we're in. We're not off trying to find a, a huge acquisition because that, from a risk perspective right now, is just not appropriate for us. And I, I just think we're good at execution, you know, at executing and and uh, and hiring great people, primarily internally. I mean, we've done a really good job of, of uh, you know, promoting people within the organization, and that's really bode well for us thus far. Uh, we have a client that's now getting close to a two billion dollar market cap, and and one of her one of her tips was that she would meet every week with her team and go through every single dollar that was spent. So I'm going to draw our audience's attention to the, to your background and and how meticulous you are with every single dollar spent. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I, look, I'm not going to say we're we're crazy, but we're we do pay a lot of attention to our numbers, uh, and and really we do that on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. Obviously, the quarterly results speak for themselves, but you know we do pay attention to details. We pay attention to our the revenue, how we bill. Uh, we pay attention to our caregiver rates and ensuring that they're at market or above market. Uh, we pay attention to to overtime. We pay attention to. Uh, you know, the costs that go into running an office, um, you know, we, we know what every agency that we own should look like. And it's just a matter of making sure that we're getting to where we should be. So, uh, you know, from a financial perspective, I think those are easy things to do, right? The numbers are the numbers. And, and as long as we monitor those on a regular basis and, and people are aware, um, you know, what we're striving towards. And I think, again, I think they'll take care of themselves. And of course, as some of you out there may not be familiar with the actual business model and formula that Nova Leap Health is currently utilizing, can you just talk to us a little bit about that? And then let's talk about your most recent acquisition, please. 
Sure, yeah. So when it comes to our model, essentially we're out there and we're looking for small businesses, so small home care businesses, primarily in the U.S. They're generally run between a million to three million dollars of revenue. Uh, they're in a secondary market, so where it's less competitive. Uh, we've been buying in New England and most recently in South Central. But these are businesses that have been around for 10 or 15 years, uh, you know, for 10 or 15 years. Uh, they've been predominantly owned by a founder who's looking for a succession plan. And so we identify these businesses for, as part of our roll-up strategy. So we see ourselves as a consolidator. And then we look to make incremental improvements, whether it be revenue or expense management or training or marketing. You know, every agency is a little bit different and unique. But we, we bring those uh, incremental improvements to bear. And, and then as we add these small businesses to a larger platform, we start to see the payoffs from a, from a financial perspective. So what should we as shareholders anticipate in this upcoming quarter? Uh, well, look, we said that we do up to four acquisitions this year. We've hit three. Uh, we still have a fairly robust pipeline, and we, we do see opportunities on a regular basis. We'll act on the ones that we think are, are worthwhile acting on. Uh, you know, we're not done expanding within New England. We just made an acquisition recently in Massachusetts. It's a very nice tuck-in for us. Uh, we've recently expanded to South Central, so we did an acquisition in Oklahoma. We see that as an area where uh, there's quite a bit of expansion opportunity for us. Uh, so we'll, you know, we'll we'll continue to uh, pursue acquisitions if they make sense for us. But certainly, we're not done growing. Well, Chris, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us today, and congratulations. Thanks, Tracy. Appreciate having me. Take care.